blah, 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 Paris, blah, 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 Super Bowl. Man, nothing says I'm better than you like the family's annual holiday newsletter, huh? Just once, I would like to respond like this. Hi, I'm Amanda, and this is my roommate, Kate. And we're both single. Really single, like really, really single. <laughs> okay. Anyways, I've been getting all of these holiday newsletters from people lately. Holiday schmooze letters. They're all talking about how precious their children are and how proud they are of their tiny advancements and coloring and figuring out how to not pee in their pants. I haven't peed in my pants in years. But what about us? What about the single ladies? Don't we deserve a newsletter? We sure do. So here are some excerpts from our fancy newsletter. Dear family and or friends and or co-workers, this year, the bouncer at my favorite club finally learned my name and now I get to cut in line. I am now totally fine with going to the movies by myself. In June, I went on a whitewater rafting singles trip and I caught three wild Alaskan salmon. I took a knitting class and made this sweater. <laughs> made that for you? It stretches. I look really good in horizontal stripes. It's brave. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, there's really only one difference between our crappy newsletter and theirs. What? Neither of us actually feel the need to send this out. Oh yeah. Hmm.